okay we are going to solve this error the error is value cannot be null parameter name entity okay okay now just stop it when we get this error controller name when we try to delete our entity entry okay delete it delete we get this error the error is value cannot be null parameter name entity okay now what did we do here this is our BLL business logic layer page this is our controller in our BLL everything is fine save save is fine add uh, update fine everything is okay but the problem is in the remove remove section in the remove section we what did we do here we find the list find fi we find actually find the id then we remove it it's okay but sometimes i think There is another way to delete and delete our entry. Will work hundred percent. Now I will show you how. When you bind it, we have to. Uh, when we bind it we have to integer not null we have to set the integer not null okay then we will remove it by id then we we have to cast the cast the id okay integer id and id should be integer then we have to just var get id okay db sorry db dot animals dot we cannot directly remove the id we have to find the id first find find what are you find what are we finding id okay then we have to just remove the id db dot animals dot remove which id get uh, get id j uh, get id okay now save change now go to the controller section here is the delete option it should be not null because we set it here everything we bind it should be not null everything we bind it should be not null so our delete and our delete section should be not null it should be not null okay and 
edit here we bind it not null everything is fine now we have to make it integer int integer id okay we have to make it integer because we get the id from here integer just remove the id here integer integer id here okay now just run it let's see now we get the error or not just animal okay okay we can edit here and cow okay here we can create the new entry and okay we can edit it create it we can delete it let's see can we finally delete it okay we can finally delete it that's all that's the way you can solve this error if you you have any question you can comment comment in the comment section